This is the time that I get to tell you a little story while they do their thing. And you forget that they're here and it's just me and you, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right. So, um, I'm going to, one thing that we love to do is tell stories about how shit goes wrong on tour. And I'm going to get there. I will get there. Um, but what I, what I'd like to tell actually is a little story about how this all happened. Um, what a lot of people don't know is that I started a band in 2005. 17 and a half years, it was straight up half my life ago. I started a band that became Walk the Moon. And that was that was before that was before any of these any of these amazing humans were, were on this stage with me. And once upon a time, everybody that I was working with quit. I don't know, maybe it was me. It was probably me. <laughs> I was probably kind of a dick, maybe. I don't know. Ow. It's hard to imagine because I'm so nice and so good looking. <laughs> Anyways, for whatever reason, everyone quit, and it was just me. And um, and I had like half an album recorded and written, and one of those songs was Anna's Son. And <laughs> And we, we, uh, I, we, I say we, we, I, I basically, what I did, I decided that I wanted to keep doing the band. So I would go out to every show that I could in Cincinnati and I would go and meet people. I would go and see a band and be like, hey, that guitarist is pretty good. And then I'd go and talk to him and I'd be like, hey, uh, we're playing a show on Friday. Do you want to learn a bunch of music and play with us? And it would be like that for about a year. It was a revolving door of, of different musicians in the Cincinnati scene. Um, and that's how I found my bros. That's how I found my guys. And Eli was actually the first of them to play with, but the last to officially join. I don't know what that says. I don't know. But you guys were like, oh. I don't know what that means, but it's true. And um, we, uh, so uh, we, were, we were playing a show Sean and I um, uh, and a couple others were playing a show here uh, just down the street at Pianos. Yeah. And, and like literally like days before, somehow um, somebody got wind of our music video um, and, uh, and spread it to a bunch of labels. And actually it was Neon Gold Records tweeted about it and all the labels were like, who is that? And we had everybody at, at this tiny show in pianos. It was like it was like thirty kids in the front row, and then a bunch of suits in the back, and like this. And, we were, and they were like, "I'm Cindy Lauper's manager. Hey, I'm Chuck from Mercury Records." And it was just it was a wild. It was a dream. And um, and we uh, were on our way back home, um, and got the call. We're like, "Hey." Uh, Blah 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 Records wants you to open for Panic at the Disco at Bowery Ballroom. We're like, fuck yeah. Um, and we're literally driving home. We're actually on our way to a, a gig in Indianapolis. Uh, outside, far outside Indianapolis. Uh, at a venue called Grandma's House. This was just some dude's grandma's house. And we played in her basement. <laughs> Um, and we were like, yes, thing is we don't have Eli. So I literally uh, called Eli and I was like, hey, um, we're about to open for Panic at the Disco in New York City. Um, do, you wanna, do you wanna play? He's like, yeah, sure. When? I'm like, we leave in 12 hours. <laughs> and he's like, okay. And, uh, and Eli's been in the band ever since. It's, it's, it's 12 years to the day that we released the Anna Sun music video. And, uh, it's just, like, what, what, wow. We just, I feel like we've created something so beautiful together. And I don't, I don't know what more to say about that. Um, except this. I will, I'm going to tell an extremely, extremely short addendum, okay? <laughs> so, you know that we used to uh, uh, put face paint on plates yeah. and, and paint people's faces. And we would also write our set lists on these paper plates, okay? And so, once upon a time in 
we were on tour. There were, there were so many gigs, so many beautiful gigs, and we met so many amazing people and made great memories. But this one memory, this one, <laughs> this one memory, we made, um, uh, uh, Sean uh, had a, a set list on a plate um, next to his drum set. And then there was another plate next to his drum set with uh, some like lunch meat on it <laughs> that he was nibbling on before the show. Um, and after the set, this is actually, this is in, this is in Germany. This is a show in Germany, in Hamburg at Molotov. I don't know. Right? Oh my God, right, Molotov! What? No, no. Um, and, and so, uh, at the end of the set, you know, we're all like, hey, it's like throwing the set list out, like dope, you know, throw us a drumstick, whatever. And Sean, yo, oh, you know, you know. And Sean reaches down and grabs the wrong plate. No! And he flings the set list. And the meat, we watch as the meat lands right on this girl's face. So for all the, you know, all the great memories we've made throughout the years, and, and like, and we've, we've heard some incredible stories from some of you, like what we've meant to you and where we've, where we've shown up in your lives. And we're so grateful. And then there's that one girl that one girl in Germany somewhere who's like, yeah, that's the band who threw meat at my face. <laughs> Thank you, that's my story. We're gonna play the rest of the second.